Are you living in a house with dated wiring? You've got the two prong plugs that are ungrounded, but you just don't have the money right now to rewire the house? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to do to make your house safer. Coming up next. Even though the receptacles in the ugly house appear to be grounded because they're all three prong plugs, none of them are. This is an outlet that has something called a bootleg ground and they're very, very dangerous. What it does is it gives the impression that the outlet is grounded, but it is not. What we're going to do to remedy that is we're going to install a GFCI. That's what this is here. Now, it's not going to ground the outlet, but what it will do is it will offer a level of protection that you don't get with an ungrounded outlet. Now, before we can start to work on the outlet, we have to make certain that the outlet is not energized. I've cut the power off at the breaker panel, but now I just have to double check and make certain that the receptacle isn't energized. And the way I do that is with this tool here. Now, if it turns red while I'm testing the outlet, then I know that it is energized and it remained green, so I know that the outlet is safe for me to work on. I'm going to take off the cover plate here. Remove these screws. Loosen the terminal screws that hold the wires in place and then remove the outlet. We're now ready to install our GFCI. Now I brought you in close to our GFCI because I want to show you how we're going to wire this. Now on one side we have brass colored screws and if you flip it over on the opposite side you have silver colored screws. Now the silver colored screws receive the neutral wires, those are the ones that are white, and the brass colored screws receive the hot wires, those are the ones that are black. Now once you've got that wire looped on that screw, I like to take my thumb here, use it as a wedge, and then I pull that wire toward me. You want to make certain that you wrap the wire around the screw clockwise, not counterclockwise, but clockwise, because when you cinch this screw down, it'll cinch down on the wire. If you wrap the wire counterclockwise of the screw, it's going to back the wire out from beneath the screw. You may want to take a pair of needle nose pliers, that's what these are here, and close the wire up just a little bit around that screw, just like so, and then take a screwdriver and tighten. And this is really the way you want your copper wire to look secured underneath the screw, no copper sticking out beyond the receptacle. If you're looking to purchase new cabinets and you just don't know quite where to start, don't worry about it because cabinets.com, they have a staff of elite designers that will work with you one-on-one -on -one and for free. Did you hear what I just said? for free. They want to make certain that you realize the kitchen of your dreams. Now they worked with us and they helped design the CJ Drill kitchens. They were easy to talk to. They had great ideas and I gotta tell you this, I think they hit it out of the park. Check them out, cabinets.com. You tell them, Leah sent you. I always like to take tape and cover my terminals. This is not anything that you have to do, but I like to do it because I just, you know, I like to be as safe as I possibly can. There we go. Now I take my wires I'm going to push them back into the box. Okay, I'm going to push it in. Attach my screws. Now I take my cover plate and attach it. Go. 
Now it's time to turn the breaker back on. Now since our outlet isn't grounded, we have to put on a little sticker indicating just that. This is Leah saying you, you can do this. See you next time. Now if you want to see more videos like this one here, just click here.